Talents Unlimited, I am your host, Gary Scudero, and man, I know I said it before, I say it all the time, bringing you a fine show, one of the finest shows in Queens here, all right, usually I'm full of it, but tonight, tonight, we got quite a show, man, we got an incredible show for you here, man, we got, we got, we got some wrestlers here promoting their wrestling event here from the WWO, all right, we have that going on here, uh, celebrity wrestlers we have here. We, we, we have a great band here tonight, a six-piece band. It's almost like a symphony. It's incredible here. Uh, Ready Steady Ghost is going to be on here. Incredible stuff here. So don't go away, man. I just want to tell you, uh, you guys, you want to call in tonight. You want to call in a little bit? We're giving away tickets. We're giving away tickets tonight here to the wrestling event. To calls you call in, we're giving two per call. This is an amazing thing, up to about... 10 callers, maybe 15. Depending on how many we get there, you're going to see a phone number on there to call in. We're giving away tickets here. We never give away stuff here. We're giving, this is quite a night. This is a, I'm excited here. It's an amazing night here, okay? Incredible stuff. Before we move on, I want to thank Out of Control Entertainment for sponsoring this show here. You guys, you need inflatable rides coming up, dunk tanks, any tents, chairs, tables, all that stuff there. Give these guys a call. They do an amazing job. Any kind of entertainment, clowns, magicians, all that stuff. Give them a call. They're, 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 they, they fulfill all your inflatable needs. Give these guys a call. It's an incredible outfit there. I want to thank you guys for sponsoring us, man. Also, if you want to contact me, you want to be on my show, call Bartleby at Juno.com. Bartleby at Juno.com. you want to be on my show, email me. Let me know. I will put you guys on here. All right? By the way, one more thing I want to mention here. A couple weeks ago, we had like a little soiree here at QP TV, and they gave out these really, really nice awards, and I didn't get one. Yeah, I'm not sure what the deal is there. I do a fine quality show. I got nothing. I, they didn't give out certificates. I didn't get one of those, all right? People just walked around the area and were getting the certificates. I didn't get that. I feel like the Ben Affleck of the studio here. <laughs> it's just crazy. I got totally screwed on the deal. To I don't know what happened. I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing here, okay? Not so bad. I don't know. Not, not saying nothing, but I got nothing, all right? That's what I got, all right? Incredible deal. I'm not complaining. not complaining, but I mentioned I got nothing. I got nothing here. Not an award, not a piece of paper, nothing. Six, seven years I've been doing this stuff here. I got nothing. Yeah. Camera guy, you got nothing either? No. Camera guy got nothing. I don't know. He got nothing either, which is probably why he's working this show, okay? Okay? We got nothing. Not complaining. It's my only little editorial, not a big deal, all right? Going to get off the show, forget that. I got a great show, and they're going to be ashamed after they see this show that they didn't give me an award. Maybe next year, because of this show, I will get one, all right? First guys I want to bring on here, uh, they are wrestlers, and they go way back. They go way back. As a matter of fact, I saw them once at a signing here. They actually signed an autograph for, for my son here. Uh, many, many years ago. They changed their look a little bit. They used to wear these, these really like just black pullover masks. They got a whole new look going on here. Ladies and gentlemen, please, big hand for the intruders, yeah! Come on out here! All right, how you doing, man? How are you there? All right, how's it going? Good, good, good. All right, great, good to see you guys here. You are Intruder 2, yes. and you're Intruder 1. Intruder number 1, yeah. Like Thing 1 and Thing 2, same kind of deal, yes. right? Excellent there, very nice. Did Dr. Seuss write about you guys? Yes. <laughs> he did, he did, excellent there. Guys, remember, you get to see these guys live at their wrestling event. It's going to be in Patterson, New Jersey, wherever. Free tickets. Call in. You want to call in, have anything to say. We're giving away tickets here. You're just going to give the lady information after you call in. Free tickets, okay? Check it out, okay? Keep that number up there, because I know hundreds of people are going to be calling here. It's going to be crazy, all right? It's going to be amazing there. Now, yeah, we're going to give you guys a microphone here, because a little, little low on mic. We're going to start you off here. Now, I got questions for you that were prepared, all right? Because I didn't know much about you guys. I haven't seen you around in a while. I don't know. Well, you know, let me just ask that off the top of my head. Where have you guys been lately? 
We're traveling around the world and all that stuff. Oh, hold on, opponents and all that stuff. We're traveling all around, yes. going all around the country, yes. all around the world. There. Yes. Okay. And how you guys been faring in your in your wrestling bouts? Uh, one here and there, a couple of shares and all that stuff. Not okay. too bad. Okay. Very good there. Now, now you guys are gonna be wrestling again now uh, on on April 26th, correct? Yes. Correct. And that's gonna be in Jersey. Yes. All right. And who are you wrestling? Right now, none of your damn business. Okay. Very He's nice. The champ, Sheik Sitar. So the next question you're gonna ask is all for him. He's fighting the Sheik. Yes. Really. It's time. Yes. Really. And none of my business on who you fight. <laughs> that, is that a secret? I'm here to show <laughs> some more support for my partner. Okay. Well, you're a real charmer. All right. Here, 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 here. <laughs> give him the mic over there. Okay, Intruder 1. Intruder 1. I'm going to talk to you. You sound like a n nicer guy here. You sound a little more pleasant there, okay? None of my business. What we would have thought. Okay, last time you and the Sheik, last time you guys wrestled, he won the match, correct? Technically, yes. Yes, yeah. te he won it, right. But from what I'm hearing now, they say it's, is it a fact? I didn't really look at the, look at the, the whole data here. <clears throat> but he was paid off by the referee? No, he paid the referee off. That's what, he okay. had me in the camo clutch. They called the match. I did not give up, and everybody in the whole place saw it. And they walked off hand in hand, laughing at me, leaving me right in the middle of the ring, laughing that they got over. Really? That's what happened. That's that's what happened. Yeah, just curious. I, I'm not a. I don't know much about the move. What is a camel clutch? Uh, it's his finishing move that he he basically sits on your back, puts your arms over his legs, and pulls back on your neck. So it's very painful, but I did not give up that night. It sounds like a good sure. thing, but okay, I, I don't know, I'm not sure. I did not give up that night. You didn't give up? That's why we're having the rematch now. It took him, he, it's taken him a lot of time to get this match, and I'm going to do my best to beat the Sheik. To beat the Sheik? You could beat the Sheik right out of him. That I could. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! Yes! Thank you! There you go. Okay, it's a... Uh, all right, now, now, now don't take this the wrong way, right? Don't take it the wrong way. But now this, the Sheik guy, the Sheik Satur, that's his name, he's undefeated from what I hear, right? As the champion, yeah. And, the un and, and yes. also from what I'm reading, okay, he's undefeated. Now the WWO, International Heavyweight Champion, he's beaten everybody so far. Yeah. Is that correct? You've beaten everybody so far, including yourself. You including say, yourself? Kind of, yeah, you can say that. Okay, all right, all right, including yourself. Now what makes it different this time? How do you know you can really beat him? What did you just say? Calm down, calm down. Yeah, what I, did you just say? Can anybody translate? I, I don't know. I said, how do you, you can really beat him? I don't get it. Calm down, calm I down. I come on this show. Where's Sheik Zatar? I, I think we need security. Where is Sheik Zatar? He's in the men's room. He's in the men's room. Sheik Zatar! April 26th, 2013. Calm down. I'm coming for you in the international title. Calm down. And revenge will be mine. Calm down. Do you hear me? This is over. Okay, that went well. Uh, he has anger management problems. I don't know what the deal is there, but no, when he got this close, if he gets that close to Sheik Satur, his breath will knock him out alone. So, so he's got a shot there. Okay, you want to treat yourself to a breath mint there, buddy. All right, there you go. All right, I don't know where they went. Hey, thank you guys for stepping in there, helping out, guys. You guys are the best. You guys are the best there. Wait. Free tickets here, free tickets. You guys call and you can see stuff like that live in a person. Maybe he'll get the manhandle you too, all right? Who knows? At the wrestling event, all right? You guys call in, free tickets here coming up here. First calls that come in, guaranteed tickets here to this, to this event. Sounds like pretty interesting. Pretty talented guys there, or for, I don't know, uh, emotional anyway. There should be a good show. I don't know. All right, well, you know what? We got some real wrestlers coming on now, okay? Not some guys in clown masks, okay? We got real guys coming on, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, please, please give it up here for the Dream Warrior and Jason Knight. Yeah! Come on out here. Okay. Oh, pleased to see you, man. Nice. All right. Excellent there. How are you doing? Okay, how you doing? How good, are you? Good. Please well, have here. a seat there. Why don't you show them this nice, so. Uh, Poster there for Check the show. Out. This is the poster for the show. For the show here. Yeah. Why? Do you see that guy? Can you all get that? This is professional. Can you get all that thing? Can you get that? <laughs> okay, this is a poster for the show there. You guys check it in. Again, you guys call in free tickets to this event. All Anybody right? got a staple gun? We can staple it to his chest. Okay. Yes! All right, we applaud that. Okay. Yeah.
Well, we do that anyway at the after party after the show. So that, that's a common event here. We just get a little crazy afterwards there. Where's it's, all the booze? <laughs> yeah, all right. So, so, so right here. Okay. Well, let's talk to you first, Mr. Warrior. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, how'd you get your name? How did I get my name? I asked you first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the worst person to tick off. You think a true to one was pissed? Yeah, he, I took he, some time off because I got tired of beating everybody in the old WWO. Wait, found something nice to do. Got into a new sport, racing bikes. But then when I found out that a lot of the newer guys were popping a lot of BS about me, I said, okay, they want to learn what the Dream Warrior could do? They made me an offer, I came back. Now I'm ready to kick some major butt. Okay, and, and that's how you got your name? Oh yeah, Okay. I'm the nightmare, <laughs> I create nightmares. Now let me ask you, when you wrestle, do you wear this outfit in, in the wrestling ring? I mean, do, do you wear the same getup? I mean, are you allowed Sometimes. to wrestle? I, do you really? And that, that's legal, that, that's okay, that, that's allowed, I don't know. I think I win a lot of my matches. Okay, oh, hey, we have a caller. We have a caller, and who are we talking to? You're talking to me, Gary, it's Kitty. Yeah, I can't quite hear you. It sounds like you're, you're, you're calling from a garbage can. It's very echoey. It's Kitty. Probably somebody I buried. Yeah, it's not coming through, guys. I don't know what the deal is there. Gary, can you hear me now? Hey, too. I know for a fact that Billy C and his son are there. Why did they let that wrestler put his hands on you? <laughs> because I, 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 they, they don't care. Don't <laughs> stop being that. wimpy and get over there and not let them put their hands on you. Yeah, Kitty, you'd have been here. You'd have helped me. Damn right, I would have run up there. Yeah, you'd have been here. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, right, 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 right. A woman here is more man than all of you guys, all right? <laughs> there you go. You're going to meet these guys. Just so who's your goal in the WWO? Hard ragged his butt all over the ring, left him bloody in the ring. Now, supposedly he's the one that started about talking here. And he says, oh, he's washed up. He's no good. He ain't, he ain't doing nothing no more. Well, we'll see when we get back in that ring. And they strapped the collars around our neck. I'll beat him like a dog in the middle of the street. Both wear collars, are you chained? We're chained in the middle of the ring. And you're both Both of us come down to the ring wearing dog collars. Okay. Referee lick, locks the collar, the chain onto those collars. As soon as that bell rings, that chain gets used in any way to beat the hell out of each really? other. Really? And you're going to be doing that that night? Yes. Wow, so, so you, even if like you really can't even run and escape because you, you're just chained up to the other guy. Technically, you only got about 15 feet of running room before I come and catch you. This guy before, have you wrestled him before? Yes, I have. And how'd you fare then? I beat the living hell out of him. But did you win? Yes, I did. Oh, okay, gotcha. Very cool. Like I said, I left him in the middle of the ring bleeding. Nice. All right. Wow. All right. So, so we got something like that, that, that too. Now, can you also uh, take care of one of those intruder guys? Can you do that that night? <laughs> or, 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 I might help them. I might help them t take you out. What? I, I did nothing wrong. I was pleasant. Guess what happened there? I don't think so. You were so angry. <laughs> what, what, what does that take them off? You probably said the wrong thing to them. Yeah, all right, I don't know. What, what, what? Mm -hmm. No costume, no man here. Very subdued gentleman here. Very quiet guy. I wear reading glasses. Yeah, that's right. You're reading, you're reading a novel. You actually read, all right, which I'm sure these other three can't do. But you, you were actually reading them. Don't push your I'm surprised you weren't reading to them. <laughs> this is crazy. Then. <laughs> Once in a while, I have to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, read again, Uncle Jason. <laughs> it's kind of weird there. You're actually reading a novel. I, I was very impressed with that there. And so you're probably the guys you got to watch out for. It's the quiet ones, the simple-looking guys here. You're probably probably more dangerous than all of these guys, correct? Yeah, I would say you're correct. Look, he's even modest about it. He's modest about saying he can he can wreck you. All right, that's what I like about this guy. So, so tell me about yourself. I mean, tell me a little bit about how long you've been doing this and what you've been wrestling for. I started training to become a professional wrestler in uh, 1977. So do the math, but you know, <laughs> I actually had some. Uh, I can do the math. I bet he can. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, How would you like if I pulled you into that chair? <laughs> <laughs> in any case, in any case, in any case, uh, I started wrestling in the early '80s, and and I've been doing it for well since uh, until now, and uh, I wrestled pretty much for every major organization, not only in the United States but throughout the world, and. Uh, my most notable uh, was uh, the original ECW, and I was their uh, world television champion. And uh, you know, it's it's been a quite a while and everything. And I'm not the youngest guy out there, but I can still run circles around <laughs> most people half my age. So, right. You know. Yeah. That, that, I mean, that's uh, it's a uh, it's a um, business where longevity counts, and it's very respected. And uh, a lot of times being more reserved uh, kind of 
um, it, it fools your opponent into thinking you know they can take liberties and full sense of um, um, full sense of what full sense of security security exactly security. Okay. you know and that uh, you know and that's where the guard goes down and uh, and I take over right so that's how we roll. Yeah, just curious, do you have a signature move? I mean, some wrestlers have like a certain move they're famous for or anything. Do you have a signature one or? or? No, it all depends on the opponent. You know, I mean, it would be foolish to try to, uh, you know, lift up a 400 pound man, you know, for a certain move, you know, and throw my back out where I can simply, I don't know, maybe knock him out with my foot. Just go the easy way, sure. Yeah. sure. Yeah. You, you, you know, that's a good, interesting point you brought up, though. Yeah. There's no weight class in wrestling. There's no, like, because you said, if you, you obviously no. got 400 pounds, you, you might wrestle for yeah. a 400 pound man. There's yeah. no weight class or nothing? Uh, no, not in professional wrestling. Not in professional wrestling. I mean, they do have, they do have uh, titles that um, are pretty much distributed between, you know, you do have the, the junior heavyweights, the light heavyweights, and I believe that's up to 215 pounds in weight, uh, in body weight. But then again, you know, that, that particular wrestler could wrestle someone that weighs a lot more, but, you know, it's just not a title match. It's, uh, it's, a, it's an exhibition, and it's a form, of, a form of entertainment, you know, in which, uh, you know, anything goes. Okay, very cool. Uh, Would well, you like me to hand that mic to someone? No, is no, I, I, I was just giving a signal. I think maybe his <laughs> yeah. mic is a little low or something like that. You oh. can't, this guy's not yelling loud enough for you? All right, how, how <laughs> loud do you want me to get? <laughs> He's okay. All right, I, I don't know. Start trouble. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is here. Stab you with the damn mic. How you like that? <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> now, now, my apologies here. There's something here. I don't know which question this is for. Again, this is pre-written for me because uh, something about a wrestling dojo. Is that familiar to any of you guys here? Yeah. Yeah. You, you have a wrestling dojo coming up here? Well, yeah, the World Wrestling Organization is planning to um, to start a wrestling school or a professional wrestling dojo, which uh, I would be the uh, senior instructor at. And uh, I think that it's a good seed to plant, and I'm pretty much almost sure that you know it's uh, it's a go. But I think after the 26th show, you know, we're going to be able to determine exactly if it's 100%. You know, and like I said, I, I think it's pretty much almost a go, you know. But, you know, personally, I'm not going to say, you know, yes, yes for sure. And then, you know, if it doesn't uh, uh, turn out exactly um, the way that we, the, we're planning it. But, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty much a go. You know, we kind of have to see. So, you know, I don't want to make any promises that I can't keep. Right, but something you're looking yeah. into? And, 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 Absolutely. and, and where would you open this up? Uh, in in uh, Patterson, New Jersey. In Patterson, right? so we're going to rest in that area? Same, exactly, same place. And, you know, I have, uh, I've had three professional wrestling schools already since uh, 2000, and they were all successful. They were in uh, the uh, New England area, you know. And you know, being that I've been doing this for a long time, you know, I'd like to do it again. And uh, the uh, the World Wrestling Organization um, made that proposition to me, and you know, I would very much like to do that because I like to stay active, right. not only uh, as a wrestler but as a trainer. Because I absolutely love training people, and you know, it's something that uh, gives me a lot of satisfaction. You know, working with younger people and all that right. always keeps me younger. If that's yeah. possible. <laughs> so, yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just curious, though, the number of years you've been doing it, I kind of did the math in my head, 77, mm -hmm. it's about 35 years, 36 years. Yeah, well, years. you know, I started in 1977, but, right. you know, believe me, it wasn't many years until I actually got my first match because back in the day, you know, uh, back in the day, it, it took a hell of a long time. It wasn't until I started training with the right trainers like Johnny Rods and Bobby Bald Eagle okay. uh, in 1980s that I actually started uh, uh wrestling uh, legitimate shows. Right. So, you know, back in the day, it took a very long time. Okay, now it's got to take a lot of wear and tear on your body after all these years, no? Yeah. I mean, any aches and pains? <laughs> it's got a lot of yeah, abuse, well, man. Yeah, plenty, plenty. But I mean, you know, the older it gets, the smarter I get, you know, and I try to, uh, you know, protect myself as much as I can. And, uh, you know, it's conditioning. Conditioning is a factor, you know, because, uh, you know, you've got to have a body like granite, you know, I mean, in my opinion, you know, right. not every wrestler 
uh, has the genetics to look like a bodybuilder and, and you know be all ripped up and what have you. I, I know and what it you doesn't mean. mean and, but it doesn't mean that they're know, not I, tough. I think I know what you're talking about. <laughs> it doesn't mean they're not tough. <laughs> but you know, for me, you're cruising. Oh, what am I talking about? <laughs> you're cruising for a nice back here. <laughs> for me, conditioning is uh, the factor. You know, being in like superb cardiovascular condition and you know being strong and just you know, and it, it's all uh, mind over matter. Right. You're just curious when you saw Intruder Number One, he looked a little spongy, didn't he? Spongy. A little spongy. I don't, I don't know. Maybe he's wearing an outfit underneath the outfit. I don't know. <laughs> you know, you think he wore a fat suit just for the show? That's what he did. Interesting there. Well, but the see that the actual wrestling match there. He's probably hiding all that buffness for the actual thing there. That's what he's doing. Yeah. Takes that shirt off at the show. Hey, yeah. free tickets to see Intruder Two with his shirt off. All right, that's gonna be quite an event. <laughs> You guys don't call it for that. You guys are nuts. All right, see Intruder 2 with that shirt off. That's uh, actually Intruder 1. Intruder 1. All oh, right, right. The Intruder 1 was was fit. Yeah, Intruder, yeah, the, the angry one, the angry one. That's Intruder 1. Get yeah. it right. He's probably angry because he's on a diet. That, that, <laughs> that gets you a little angry. That gets you a little mad, right? Yeah, a little carb stuff will do it every, yeah. <laughs> every time. <laughs> That's it. So, so, so on this night there, do uh, you know who you're wrestling at? Or did you yes, have... yes, I'm wrestling a... Uh, um, a guy by the name of uh, Black Magic, and he's very well known throughout, especially throughout the independent wrestling circuit. He's been doing it for a hell of a long time. We clashed uh, several times together before, and he is around, uh, well, I would say probably around 400 pounds. Oh, okay, so that's uh, where you got that so, 400 pounds. <laughs> exactly, right. you know. So, you know, it's, uh, I already have the strategy, and uh, it's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm in it to win. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to, uh, Patterson, New Jersey, to uh, be embarrassed. Yeah, you know, man, I'm telling you now, but I mean, for a wrestler, you're really, I mean, you're really cool. You're really a humble guy. I mean, none of this, this yelling stuff. You really kind of mill it out here. Mm -hmm. I expect, I expect real, to see a really good show out here because I'm guessing you quiet guys going to be the most dangerous. You got nothing to prove. But, 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 <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you're really mill. I mean, you look like you're just quiet, you're confident, you're secure there, like, like you're going to do well with this thing. Now, how, how have you fared against mm -hmm. this guy before? Uh, I did very well, uh, but you know, at a price of uh, you know taking a good beating. So you know, I I plan to do well again because uh, you know I'm kind of uh, well, you know I circle around like a shark quietly, smell a few drops of blood, okay. and then very quietly move in for the kill. Very cool. Without very yelling cool. and without splashing in the water. Yeah. I let them do splashing, <laughs> right, right. and then I, <laughs> I zoom in. Yeah, I'm definitely going to try and be at this match. I mean, I, 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 I will be at this. It's on a Friday night, right? It's on a Friday night. Yeah, yeah. I don't do anything on Friday nights. Yeah. I, I can be there. <laughs> 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 oh, we have a caller here. We have a caller. Somebody wants some tickets there. Yes, who are we talking to? You're talking to Zoe. How you doing, Zoe? How are you? What can I'm we do okay. for you? How are you doing? Good, good. How you doing? How you doing? Who would you like to talk to? I'd, I'd like to ask the man with um, his shirt on if he could take it off. Man with his shirt on, if he could take it off? Yeah, not the creature from the Black Lagoon. Yet. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, you making oh, friends all over the place, buddy. Oh, oh, oh the creature from the Black Lagoon. Oh, look okay. at you. <laughs> Please come to the show. Okay. <laughs> yes, oh. yes no, I can and I will. Meal for him. I can and I will at the show. You will? I ah, will. You got to go show. to the show for that. Oh, I can okay. and I will at the show. Can, can I ask a question too? <laughs> yes, of course. I thought you just did, but okay. Oh well, that's. <laughs> you can ask another one, no, sure. Part one, part two is, and don't take this in an insulting way, but do do wrestlers use steroids to get to be so big? Uh, well, I, I can only speak speak for myself. Uh -huh. I don't use steroids. I'm sorry, but, I didn't uh, hear you. But uh, athletes throughout the whole uh, athletic world. Uh, use steroids occasionally. I mean, you know, that's something that's been um, exposed a long time ago. But yeah. you know, like I said, I can only speak for myself and right. you know, and say that uh, uh, I've not used them for a long time. Doesn't it take a <laughs> tremendous toll on your body between that and being bounced around? Well, mind over matter, you know, and conditioning. Yeah. So, you know, we uh, like we do what we have night. to do. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Zoe. You got yourself two free tickets. Two Thank free so tickets much. to this event. Part of what you can then see without your shirt on. Ooh, well. <laughs> okay. Okay, there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that was quite an event there. Maybe right. I won't take mine off, too. <laughs> there you well, go. Well, that should be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds like really good. <laughs>
<laughs> That's kind of like tit for tat, huh? I guess, I guess, I guess what? Yeah, now how much would it cost if what, what, for some of these guys to put their shirts on? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's I don't even it. know what that that's means. It. I don't know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what it means. I, yeah, I, think, I think the band's going to be short of Mike in a few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very nice there. Okay, so, so Mr. Knight, what, what, what do you see yourself in, in, in the future of the WWO? What, what do you. Well, uh, why don't we have a hell of a show on the 26th? Right. And then, you know, I, I, I think, you know, that uh, it's something very positive because, you know, we're trying to do something uh, other than uh, throw garbage out there because, uh, unfortunately, a lot of uh, wrestling these days is garbage. You know, right. The stuff you see on TV just a uh, soap opera with tremendous athletes. It has it has no bearing on the wrestlers, but on promoters and the writers and all that. Right, you know, I see, yeah. Those people behind the scenes, you know, they're taking these tremendous athletes and doing nothing good with them. So we're, you know, we're trying to, uh, you know, bring it back old school and, you know, show uh, showcase a lot of uh, professional wrestling and athleticism. And, and uh, you know, God willing, if I stay healthy and all that, I could, you know, I see myself doing this for quite a few more years, and you know, okay. and I think that you know the WWO uh, could uh, open up a new gateway for me. All right, very nice. Anything else you want to talk about? Cause we, got a, we got a band coming on here, but anything else you want to promote or talk about? You got any events? I, that I that heard the out? band practice; they're great. Yeah. You know, and uh, you know. Uh, I, I can't wait to hear him again, but you know, yeah. I just want to thank you so I, much. I heard him practice, and I don't think I can hear again. Yeah. <laughs> You're very loud. <laughs> you well, you know, they're supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, and great drummer there. I play drums too. <laughs> oh, you do that too? <laughs> yeah, I do. Okay, yeah. well, thanks for yeah. coming on, man. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. All right, thank okay. you for having thank us. Thank you for Whoa! No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. We're joking around. Okay, guys, I want to thank you for coming on. I will be there, and again, anytime. anybody calls in anytime during the show here, we're going to get your tickets there. Right now, ladies and gentlemen there, we're going to bring on our, our next guest here. Uh, these guys are called Ready, Steady, Ghost, okay? Actually, one of them is related to the infamous Billy C. Very popular karaoke <laughs> guy around the town here. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put it together for Ready, Steady, Ghost, yeah! Right, bro. 
<laughs> do another, right? I'm all set when you are. We're ready, steady ghost. Here's another song. It's a new one. New EP coming this summer. Get ready. Get steady. The song is called Leave It Behind. Got a dollar in my pocket and a quarter in my jacket. Need a dollar twenty-five for that ice pop ride. Forget it. I'm a dead man. 